Since 1902, the Bureau of Reclamation has been building large dams and associated infrastructure to support development in the West. Reclamation dams have used many innovative design concepts and have repeatedly exceeded previous records for dam height, structure size, and flow rates. Since 1930, Reclamation's Hydraulics Laboratory in Denver has led efforts to develop new technologies needed to achieve these hydraulic engineering milestones. The innovative spirit of the original engineers continues today as the laboratory supports efforts to promote efficient water use, protect environmental resources, and ensure the safety of Reclamation's dams and facilities. Physical modeling of megastructures like Hoover Dam began at the Agricultural Experiment Station in Fort Collins, Colorado. The hydraulics lab developed new designs and construction methods for dams and other hydraulic structures. Testing also took place at outdoor labs near Montrose, Colorado and Grand Coulee, Washington. The lab's early work pioneered development and testing of hydraulic structures and equipment, such as spillways, outlet works, high head gates, and valves for these large dams. The pioneering spirit of the early engineers and craftsmen fueled innovations that were needed for problems that had never been encountered. Following the end of World War II, the various labs were consolidated in Denver at the former Remington Arms Factory, where it remains today. The 65,000 square foot lab has a one-of-a-kind low ambient pressure chamber that makes studies of cavitation possible at model scale using reduced atmospheric pressure along with a high head pump facility for testing hydraulic equipment exposed to extreme conditions such as high pressure or cavitation. Specialized instrumentation is used in both the lab and field to assess hydraulic equipment, hydraulic structures, and environmental flows, including sonar for underwater imaging and surveys, acoustic velocity meters, and current profilers, pressure transducers, and accelerometers. Lab personnel work closely with other reclamation engineers and scientists, researching and developing improved methods and technologies for solutions to water resource problems. With the advancement of numerical analysis tools, physical experiments are being combined more and more with numerical modeling and a process known as composite modeling to achieve results faster than ever while ensuring accuracy of results. The Hydraulics Lab serves as a resource to find solutions to today's challenges as infrastructure ages and functional requirements change due to evolving water needs. Most reclamation dams were originally constructed in very rural locations, but expanding populations in the west and the popularity of living near streams, lakes, and rivers causes the public's connection with water infrastructure to grow ever closer, making the safety of dams increasingly important. The hydraulics lab uses a variety of tools to help ensure that Reclamation's hydraulic structures perform safely and efficiently. The lab studies help to prevent failures by improving our understanding of failure processes and continual monitoring and modeling of failure processes help to facilitate emergency action planning. Carpenters, fabricators, and machinists work with engineers to build physical models of dams, spillways, and other components essential for ensuring safe dams. Examples of current dam safety related work include studies of dam breach processes, debris effects at spillways, and development of more resilient designs for stepped spillways and stilling basin baffle blocks. Reclamation's projects can affect many aspects of the environment, including aquatic animals and plants in rivers, reservoirs, and canals. Water projects can alter environmental conditions, affect existing habitats, and create new habitats. To protect fish populations, today's water diversion structures include fish screens that prevent fish from being diverted out of their natural habitats. Fish ladders and fish passage channels ensure that hydraulic structures in rivers do not block fish from accessing the varied habitats needed during all stages of their life cycle. Fish passage and protection structures are tested and optimized in the laboratory then evaluated in the field to verify performance. Other environmental concerns, such as sedimentation, water temperature, turbidity, dissolved oxygen, and total dissolved gas, are also addressed in the lab and field. Water demand is a continuing challenge faced by the Western United States. Research, development, and implementation of new technologies and methods that help water users to measure every drop and make every drop count are conducted at the hydraulics lab. Specialized training offered by the lab utilizes a small-scale model canal to teach improved canal operation techniques, proper flow rate and water level measurement methods, 
and how to take advantage of computer and communications technology to more efficiently operate modern canal systems. These training courses, along with field assistance provided to water districts and canal operators, help Reclamation and the public maintain appropriate stewardship of the West's precious water resources. As Reclamation's mission has evolved from developing the West's water resources to managing and protecting these resources, the Hydraulics Laboratory has continued to support that mission through research, development, and innovation. The winning approach remains the same, innovation coupled with collaboration between researchers, designers, and practitioners. For more than 85 years, that combination has fueled the Hydraulics Laboratory as it supports Reclamation and the water resources industry to solve today's hydraulic engineering challenges.